Hello everyone, nice to see you again. We hope you like our videos. You can hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again. Jean Léon Jérôme, 1824-1904, was a French painter and sculptor who achieved great fame in the 19th century. He painted for various clients, including private individuals, art collectors and government institutions. Jérôme was a very successful artist and had a huge clientele, both in France and internationally. Many of his works were commissioned by wealthy art collectors, who wanted his realistic and academic style to hide the often historical, mythological and orientalist subjects. Some of his patrons included aristocrats, businessmen and members of the European nobility. In addition, Jérôme received various assignments from the French government and public institutions. He has produced a number of public works, a summary of several published portraits and historical scenes, some of which can be found in museums and public buildings throughout France. A successful and mature artist, Jérôme's works were highly sought after during his lifetime, and his paintings continued to be admired and collected by art enthusiasts and museums around the world. Jean-Léon Jérôme was a famous French painter. A prominent artist in the 19th century, he is known for his academic and realist style, confusing his historical, mythological and orientalist subjects. Jean-Léon Jérôme was born on May 11, 1824 in Vesoul, France, and died on January 10, 1904 in Paris, France. He studied at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris and became a very successful artist, gaining international recognition during his lifetime. Jérôme's works can be found in numerous museums and private collections around the world. His paintings often collected elaborate details and impeccable craftsmanship, which reveals his skillful approach to art. Some of his most famous works include The Death of Caesar, Police Verso, The Snake Charmer and Ave Caesar, Morituri at Salutant. Jean-Léon Jérôme's influence on the art world was trusted and he played a crucial role in the academic art movement of the 19th century. His contributions to art are still valued and admired by art lovers and researchers. Jean-Léon Jérôme's 19th-century painting depicting a twisted thumb is doubled police verso. Completed in 1872, the painting depicts a gladiatorial scene from ancient Rome. In the painting, a victorious gladiator rises over his death to the Roman crowd. The gladiator is shown responding to the game's editor's referee, who is positioned in the background. The gesture of turning the thumb is a signal that the fate of the defeated gladiator is in the hands of the editor. Consideration of the public's reaction would make the editor's decision of whether works and is considered an iconic representation of the Roman gladiatorial games. The painting is now part of the collection of the Phoenix Art Museum in Arizona, USA. Jean-Léon Jérôme was a French artist of the 19th century, known for his academic and orientalist paintings. His works are often exhibited in renowned art museums, such as the Louvre in Paris, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, and the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles, among many others. The price of Jean-Léon Jérôme's works can vary considerably depending on several factors, including the size of the artwork, the subject, the period in which it was made, the authenticity and the condition of the painting. 
As a result, some of Jerome's works can be worth millions of dollars at auction, while other works may sell for less. Some of his famous works have achieved high prices at auctions and are considered valuable works of art in the art market.